Assalamu alaikum people. Uh, I just wanted to post a video today on the difficulties that I've faced since becoming a Muslim and just the struggles that I've gone through. Um, this is based on a question that somebody asked me over on Instagram. So I thought it would be a good idea just to like post a video, talk about a few things. There's probably um, a few things that people have wondered or asked. So I just thought this would be a great platform just to let everybody know. If you have any questions, continue to ask, continue to send me messages as you do. So without further ado, I just wanted to touch base on a few things. So one thing I wanted to talk about is friends. Have I really struggled with friends since converting? I would say yes, but it's understandable. I do have a lot of non-religious friends um, and I was never born into religion. So when I converted from nothing to Christianity, my friends thought I was a bit weird, you know, that's understandable. So now that I've done a complete U-turn and gone from Christianity to Islam, it's probably blown the minds of a few people and that's understandable. What I've come to learn is that you cannot really ask people who are non-religious to comprehend what they can't comprehend. If you look at life through like a religious eye or you live life and you're quite a religious person, just bear in mind that the people who are non-religious, they will not be able to necessarily understand or comprehend everything that you can understand and comprehend. So you may have friends that ask you like, how is your life? How is everything going? Yeah, you can talk to them about life. You can talk to them about the way you look at life and your religious aspect of life because that's just who you are you know if somebody asked you how are you how is life there's gonna come a time where you have to slide religion into your life because that is part of your life but at the same time take up a pinch of salt the way they may respond it's never take anything too personally in life people won't always agree or see things the way you see them and that's okay so yeah i have had a few a few friends who have kind of ooh, don't always agree with the way that I look at life, but at the end of the day, they're still my friend and that's okay. They don't have to agree with everything that I agree with. We're still great people. We're still a great team. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. I also want to touch base really quickly on society. I do not feel, and this is maybe something I'll have to say for a longer video. I do not feel society really accepts Islam or accepts the Muslim community. It is quite sad to admit that but I feel the major problem is lack of education and that's not to disrespect anybody I just feel like there's such a lack of education on religion that because of this people are quite reluctant to really understand or see where other people are coming from especially the whole Palestine and what is happening in Palestine at the moment it seems like if you speak up and support Palestine, you're seen as anti-Jewish. There's a lot of hate against it. People don't really understand really the full story of what's going on. It seems rather than educating themselves, people already have a predetermined point of view of what they think. And if you speak up against that, it doesn't really go anywhere. And it's a shame. I wish people would just speak to the people around them rather than just media. If you know Muslims, if you know Muslims in your life, just speak to them, just talk to them. They won't bite you, they won't, you know, destroy you. They will just talk honestly from the heart and why all these protests are happening and why it's important for people. I want to touch base on Arabic. People have asked me, how is your Arabic going? Do you understand Arabic? Do you understand the Quran? I use an app, my Quran is in English. I can always get an Arabic translation. I always relate what I study back to the Arabic. I'm not necessarily looking to recite much at this moment in my life. I'm focused more on the tafsir and the knowledge and the understanding and the studying of the surahs as opposed to reciting the surahs. That's my own personal decision. I'm sure in years to come or months to come, that will change, but at the moment I'm focusing more on understanding the Quran as opposed to reciting it. So obviously when I'm in the, the mosque and the masjid, I do not understand everything when it comes to the recitation of surahs and listening to prayers, etc, etc. But at the same time, it's quite similar to tongues in Christianity where you do not understand what the person's saying, you just know it's from God and you accept that it's from God. So in regards to work, that's another thing I wanted to touch on. I'm very lucky to have an amazing team around me. They allow me to pray, they allow me to go to mosque on Fridays. They're very, very, very supportive. And alhamdulillah, it's a blessing that I have these people around me because I know that there's people that struggle in workplaces, struggle to pray, struggle to go to mosque on Fridays. So I would encourage people, if you can, speak up. Make the effort to speak up if you're going through difficulties. Because what I do is I do not expect people to give me anything for free. So. I do go to prayer on Fridays, uh, but what I do is I then work longer hours on the Fridays. I do not expect them to give me that time for free. I say, look, I want to take more time 
off at lunch to, to pray, but I will work longer on Friday to make up for that. And I think that's fair. If you're honest and open with people, I'm sure they'll be honest and open and respect you back. So finally, I just wanted to talk about future things, my visions, would I continue to do videos, etc, etc. Yes, I want to do more videos, but I want to stop talking more about me. I feel like a lot of the questions that have come in, and it's understandable, everyone is curious, that's fine, but a lot of the questions people have sent me are just um, about me and my life, and that's good. I want this to kind of be the last video I talk about my life, and I want to just talk about more about Islam, educate people. Um, so when I post videos on my story and I say, hey, throw me questions, please, 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 throw me the most difficult questions you have. There's no right or wrong thing to ask. If there's something you've heard, something that you're not sure is right, or something you really don't like about Islam, where you're like, I've heard this and this makes me angry, throw me these questions. Because if I have the opportunity to look into something and to study and to just resolve something that people have questions about, then that's literally from the bottom of my heart, that's a blessing that, you know, will touch me, will touch others. So throw me these difficult questions. There's no right or wrong question to throw me. I want to have the opportunity to learn too, along with the people that I will then share that with. And what I aim, the, the reason for my videos, they're not to throw religion down people's throat or to bash about religion or anything like that. It's simply just to educate. I feel like if we live in a world where we educate each other, then we're doing good. We can't go wrong. So future aspects, that's what I plan to do with these videos. I'm not, I'm not setting a massive goal, maybe one video a month. If I ever come across my studies or my learnings of Islam and there's something I wish to share, I would do that. I understand this video has gone a little bit longer than possible, than, than what I expected, sorry. So I just want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to everyone who's shown me support. Everyone's been very kind to me as of recent, so I just want to say thank you. Always continue to do what people are continuing to do. Throw me messages, throw me questions. Thank you for the support. I wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, month, whenever you're watching this, have a wonderful day. Thank you to everybody and I wish you all the best.